This is gonna be a really long, exhausting emotionally and physically day. How does it feel to see your room empty? Goodbye stuff, we'll see you in Puerto Rico. Today's been kind of a long day for All right guys, today is the day, and I've been crying since I woke up. And now the moving truck's here, and moving trucks always make me cry. I moved around a lot growing up, and so moving trucks just always make me cry. But this one's my moving truck, so it really makes me cry. This is gonna be a really long, exhausting emotionally and physically day. It's gonna rain all day, so that makes moving a little bit harder when stuff's gonna stay packed for a month. We have to dry everything off that gets wet while we move. See, even the weather doesn't want us to move. Kansas City mourns for our leaving. So we've taken the legs off of this dresser so that that won't break. And we're packing up the TV, getting it all bubble wrapped, trying to keep it safe. is helping take the little feet off the couch so we can pack it into the truck nicer. Is that hard or easy? Easy. Good job. Jeremy and his brothers are taking apart some more stuff right now. Apparently we didn't clean under the bed. What is that? We will see you all. Our friends have been absolutely amazing today. Watching kids, cleaning out my refrigerator, loading stuff, packing stuff, dropping off stuff, running errands for me. There's the kitchen table. So we are packing up this truck. It's gonna travel by land over to the port in Florida, and then it's gonna travel by boat all the way to Puerto Rico, and then it has to travel to our house. So it has to be packed really, really well. So my dad, Papa, built the dresser for the boys inside of the boys' bedroom, so we were actually nervous it was gonna make it out or not, but it's like making it out. So in 40 minutes, we have everything big in the truck except for the washer and dryer. That's the power of good friends. Looking strong. Hey. It's getting dark, so you can't see it very well, but it is filling up. So we're trying to saran wrap the love sack, and it's not super user-friendly. I think we're turning a grape into a raisin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jeremy, go under. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, rotate. 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 Oh, you guys are smart. I wouldn't go that. <laughs> this might work. This is, working. this is a great workout. <laughs> now they're determined. <laughs> Okay, so it's late, and Jeremy's at home packing some more, and I'm at the grocery store. And I was just realizing, I think this is my last trip to Hy-Vee. I love the grocery store Hy-Vee. Not sponsored at all, I just absolutely love it. And I'm really sad to leave it. And my kids are at our friend's house where we are sleeping tonight. She put them to bed, best friend ever. So I am here to get uh, road trip snacks for our drive tomorrow. Time out. So while we had our friends watching Janae and the other kids, they have brand new little kitties. And we had to capture some of Janae playing with the kitties. So enjoy. So the kitties' names are Sugar and Spice. So our other kids aren't used to kitties. They're a little nervous about it. So Janae was the first one to go and pick up the kitties and play with them. Bye bye, kitties. <laughs> Janae is so funny with the kitties. She'll just pick them up out of nowhere and then just carry them under her arm under, like a purse. She's been kind of bossing them around too. Yeah. Sit here, kitty. <laughs> is this sugar? Hey, 
Are you playing with a laser light? So for this road trip, we actually are taking both of our cars, which means Jeremy and I have to both drive, which means we're gonna be split up. So I kind of feel like I need double the snack so each car can have some good stuff. All right, it is moving day, day two. We slept at a friend's house and are headed back to finish up this morning. Does it feel to see your room empty? I don't know, sad. Sad? Does it feel weird? Does it feel bigger or smaller this way? Smaller? So Jeremy's packing the last few things into the car. Janae and Laura are watching a show because they are so tired and losing their minds. And the big kids and I are walking through the house, remembering the rooms. Should we go to your room next? Yeah. Isaac's room is behind you. We would share it. Yeah, when we first moved in. There's the bathroom. Remember all those times you guys brushed your teeth? Yep. Laura is so happy. <laughs> so we're putting this room up in the basement for an office for me so that I don't have to work out of our closet anymore. <laughs> Elise wanted to give it a try with the gun. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. I love you. I love you too. All right, it is done. These extra straps are to keep everything in place. Jeremy did amazing. Well, we've been strapping stuff down the whole time. So every layer, we had straps. So let me explain what's happening here. Most of our stuff is going on this truck. and It's gonna go by land and by sea to Puerto Rico. But our van and our little car are both packed up for a drive to Arizona. We are going to see my parents. We're gonna stay at their cabin for a whole month. I am so excited. My parents are also being super nice and they are willing to store a few long-term items for us. Where's your bike? We put your bike in the truck. Here's the wall that we put up between our stuff and the end of the truck. So now that it's all packed, they're anchoring it in. Yeah, we're just anchoring it down so it doesn't all fall apart. I am not a professional mover, so we bought a lot of straps. <laughs> so everything that we own is packed up in 14 feet of this truck. Well, one thing for sure that we've learned is that we couldn't have done any of this without our friends. Isaac's babysitting Janae to keep her away from anything that can hurt her here, in the kitty. garage. So they're playing out here. Here, Nene Kitty. Is Nene being a kitty? You kitty? All right, Cubby, how are you feeling? Excited and kind of sad. So the very end of moving is sometimes the hardest part. We're so close and yet so far away. It doesn't even feel like we'll ever make it out of this house. We're never leaving because we can't get out. You think that's funny? I'm moving. Where are you moving to? Uh, we go. Puerto Rico? Yeah. It is done. Closing it up. Goodbye, fam. <laughs> no, you, you have to come with us. <laughs> Goodbye, stuff. We'll see you in Puerto Rico. Yay! So did we did it! We did it! Let's be honest. Dad did it. Well, we just closed up the house and had some of the sweetest moments ever. Walking through as a family, crying as a family, remembering amazing things in each room, praying together as a family. And now it is time to get on the road. This is my crew. We're the little car. So we're about four hours behind schedule. So we're going to be getting in later tonight than we planned, but we're going to do it. You guys ready? Okay, Oklahoma City or bus? a bit sad that we're leaving. I'm also kind of excited. We're going to like our grandparents' cabin. It's gonna be really fun. Again, there are a lot of sad parts. This is such a beautiful place. It's so hard to say goodbye. Today's been kind of a long day for me. We're in Kansas now.
time out. There's something so important that I want to remember about today that we didn't film. And it was how Kendra cared for the hearts of our kids today. We didn't film that stuff because it really wasn't appropriate, but it was the most special part of this move. I remember as we held the kids and we walked through each room and talked about our favorite memories and we just cried together. We prayed together and we talked about all of the good times. There was even a time where Kendra got out a whiteboard with the kids and wrote down all the things that we were sad about with how hard this transition is. And then she wrote about the things we're excited about and the kids made a list of all the different things they're looking forward to. And I think that those are the most precious moments and the moments that I'm glad we didn't pull out a camera to capture, but that I do want to remember. Time in. Well, that first hour didn't go so well. All right, we moved a couple car seats. Janae's at an age where she really does not understand moving. And ever since we put all of our stuff in the truck, She's been really clingy to me because she doesn't understand what's going on and what's happening. We didn't think about that when we made car assignments and so we had to make a change. If you're little and you don't understand the concept of moving, I can't imagine how scary that would feel. Everything's uncertain, you have no idea what's going on. So I understand she wants to be tiny. Someone's happier. Are you excited to see Daddy? I love you. Okay, you guys, two hours to go until our final stop. We made it. It's midnight. I'm so tired. Oklahoma City. So we have some fun plans for tomorrow here. If you're feeling better, Kendra's not feeling too good. I might be overtired. Get hugs out. <laughs> 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 the yawning jails up. These are really hard decisions for us to make because they don't just impact us, they impact our kids.